Hello and welcome to Game Slap Plays Into Games episode 10. Today we've got an Avatar feast for you. We're going to start our things off with Avatar Golf. Now this, if you ever played the Tiger Woods games, or I'm not even sure if they actually are called Tiger Woods games now. But uh, they're nothing like that. This is a lot more retro style golf game. I actually used to have a PGA Tour Golf for the Sega Master System and the con controls pretty much exactly the same as this. The only difference is that uh, your avatar's in there. I'll be honest, there's a 3D action mini golf which is out for the Xbox Live Arcade. That's far better use of your money really. But if you were desperate, absolutely desperate for an indie game that plays golf, I'd hardly recommend bad golf. It's um, it's a lot more fun. So we'll just uh, round this off with a triple bogey, and we'll move on to game number two, which is Avatar Rockets. Now this is exactly what the indie game section should be about. It's a uh, pretty short, but ultimately very nice looking fun little game. You obviously just have to get your rocket, I'm assuming to the moon, I, I didn't quite get it all the way there, even despite how cautiously I was doing it. And uh, it's enjoyable for the 15 or so minutes that I played this game, it, it was just fun. So uh, if you uh, download the trial, oh, 6 and a half P, might as well buy it. So let's move on to game number three today, which is Onslaught 2, which pits you in a kind of wave-based, it's, it's more or less Space Invaders, but in 3D and on flat terrain, so nothing like Space Invaders. The great thing about this game, though, is you end up f fighting your avatar chums. That's, uh, that's who the enemies are in this game, so you fire your nerf blaster at them as they slowly hobble towards you. Some of them carry riot shields and then try and smash down your fence. I don't know what they're doing. I don't know what you're, you're hiding that's off screen, but this isn't like a, this isn't too bad a game. For some reason there, uh, I'm actually shooting my other Xbox Live profile. But yeah, this is a this is a fun game. I didn't. Uh, I I won't lie and say that I played t too much of it, but um, for wave-based enjoyment, you, what can I say? It's an avatar game. <laughs> so I can't even. I, I can't even remember what game we've got coming up next. In fact, actually, yeah, I do we have Avatar Fighter? I believe it was called Avatar Warriors. No, much like the Mount Your Friends, which gained lots of <laughs> notoriety for having swinging testicles and an uh, interesting control mechanic. This game, as you can see, you control basically puppets, uh, avatar style puppets. I, I thought this was quite ingenious. The fighting mechanic, uh, whilst being a bit floaty at times, is quite enjoyable. It made me laugh anyway. So. I, I imagine if you, you had, there was a few people, uh, you had a few people playing all at once. This uh, you're not going to get hours upon hours of uh, play out of it, but just for half an hour, it's absolutely worth the uh, the, the asking price. It's also quite fun as well to see uh, how how many somersaults you can do to get from one end of the map to the other. Here we go. Let's try it. The control is uh, the, the controls as well are actually very, very simple to get used to. Yeah, see if we can do another somersault, another one. Whoop. Look at this. Who needs Tekken? All right. Well, that's uh, Game Slap plays Indie Games episode ten. Uh, next time we're probably gonna I'm gonna try and have an episode with no avatars in it whatsoever. Thank you very much. Goodbye.